So let's have a look at an example. A six-a-side football team is to be selected from the players L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T and U. How many possible selections are there? Now with all these questions that come up in the exam for permutations and combinations, it is important that you understand the context of the problem. Does the order of selection matter? So in this case, we're choosing six people from ten to be on the football team. Does it matter if I choose a side L, M, N, O, P, Q or O, P, Q, L, M, N or M, N, L, P, O, Q? Does it matter in which order I have picked these people? And the answer is no, because ultimately I'm going to get the same team regardless. So it doesn't matter in which order these people have been picked. So that means that it is a combinations problem. And that's where we use NCR rather than NPR. So for us, N is 10 because there are 10 people in that I can choose from. And I want, so R is the number that I want, and that's 6. So I need to work out 10C6, which can otherwise be written as 10C6 or 10C6, like that. And it uses the formula 10 factorial over 10 minus 6 factorial times 6 factorial. So that's 10 factorial over 4 factorial, 6 factorial. Now I'm going to do this uh, the long way of breaking this problem down, okay, uh, using factorials, and then I'll show you how to do it quickly on the calculator. So 10 factorial divided by 6 factorial leaves me with 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, because the 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 has cancelled with that one. And on the bottom I've got 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Well, multiplying by 1 isn't going to change anything, so I can get rid of that. 4 times 2 is 8, and I've got an 8 there, so that can cancel with the 4 and the 2. And the 9 divided by 3 is just 3. So I've actually got 10 times 3 times 7, which is 210. So you can cancel it down using factorials, okay, without a calculator, but it's much easier to find this button on the calculator, and it is just above your division symbol. So you want to type 10, then shift the division symbol, and you should find a C has come up on the screen, then press 6, and then equals, and you should get 210. Okay, so that is how we can solve a problem like this.